inches, three inches. Boy, have I been measuring out the inches today. 470 so far, and the day isn't even half over. No wonder they made me inchworm of the year. Was I ever proud? Fred Inchworm, Inchworm of the year. Ink, a dink a dink, a dink a dink. Big news, Fred. What is it, Mac? Did I win a free trip to Hawaii? No, this is important, Fred. Starting tomorrow, the whole factory is changing over to metric. What's metric? I never heard of it. It's a new kind of measuring. Oh, well, well, not new, really, but new to us. It's the kind all the rest of the world uses. And since we all do so much international trade, it'll simplify things if we all use the same system. Well, I don't care what system we use, as long as we keep the inch. But that's just the point, Fred. It's a whole new system. It doesn't use inches. It uses centimeters instead. No inches at all? No, none. And you're starting tomorrow? Yeah. Then I quit. See you later, daddy -o. But wait, Fred. There's another reason for using metric. It makes arithmetic a lot easier. Here, let me show you. Not me, kiddo. I don't want to have nothing to do with metric. Imagine a measuring system without inches. I've never been so mortified in my life. I'm going to find me a job somewhere where they never heard of metric. Well, from what you say about yourself, I'm sure you can learn car repair. I can learn anything. Just lead me to it. Great. Hand me that four millimeter wrench. Sure thing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Four millimeter? What's a millimeter? A millimeter is one-tenth of a centimeter. You know, there are about two and a half centimeters in an inch. Is that what you call the metric measuring system? Sure. Everything made in foreign countries is on the metric system. We're the last major country still on the old system. Once we change over, we'll need only one set of tools instead of two complete sets. No metric for this kid. Adios, muchachos. Wait! Metric is really a good system. Here, I'll show you how easy it is to figure in it. Not me, buster. Find yourself another sucker. I'm gonna have to get away from metric. I know. I'll go to work flying. I know they never heard of metric. You say this is your first flight? The first since the old days. Hey, how far have we come? 500 kilometers. Kilometers? What's a kilometer? A kilometer is roughly about six-tenths of a mile. Is that what you call metric measuring? Yes. All foreign countries are on the metric system. It used to be that every international flight would have to convert all its distance measurements mid-flight. But now that we're on metric, we don't have to. Also, it makes calculating much easier. Here, I'll show you. Not me, buddy. I'm long gone. See you in the funny papers. Hey, you got any work for an airline pilot dropout? Yeah, we're putting on a new roof and we could use someone to measure off the area. That's my specialty. No sooner said than done. One inch, two inches, three inches. Hey, wait a minute. Did I hear you say inches? Sure. You want to get it right, don't you? Sure we do. But we use metric here. You know, meters. They're just a little bigger than a yard. I don't care how big they are. I'm allergic to them. But it's really very simple. Instead of square yards, you use square meters. Let me show you. Show it to your grandmother, Buster. I'm getting out of here. This is the kind of job I've been looking for. I know they never heard of metric down here. Uh, it comes to 200 kilograms. 200 what? 200 kilograms. That's uh, 200,000 grams. What's a gram? 
A gram? Uh, well, uh, they're about uh, 30 grams to an ounce. Uh, see, we changed over to metric measure so that we don't have to keep converting back and forth when we import or export to foreign countries, you know. Well, also, uh, it's easier to figure with. Here, I'll show you. Show it to someone else, kiddo. Me and metric got nothing to say to one another. Take down the sign. I'm your new man. Oh, you're just in time. We just got a big order. A 27-layer birthday cake for a Yorkshire Terrier. Where do I begin? Well, you could start by measuring out the ingredients. Let's see. A 27-layer cake that would take 24 cups of flour, three teaspoons of baking soda, two quarts of milk, one pint of molasses. Wait a minute. Oh, we don't use cups and teaspoons and quarts and pints here. We use metric. Grams for dry measure and liters for liquid. Liters? Sure. Don't you know a liter is just slightly bigger than a quart? In my book, anybody who uses liters is as nutty as a fruitcake. This world is full of loonies. I better go to one of them head doctors before they drive me loony too. The disease you are suffering from is one we psychiatrists call metric phobia. What is that in ordinary English? Well, it simply means that you have a strong aversion to the metric measuring system. You can say that again. Oh, my. Looks like I'll have to call in a consultant who specializes in international psychosis, Dr. Fackelhoff. Yeah, did somebody call my name? Oh, yes, doctor. We have a patient here who is suffering from a metric phobia syndrome, you know? Hmm. <clears throat> The first thing you must realize is that the conversion to metric is not a plot against you. America is just getting in step with the rest of the world. <laughs> also, it makes a lot of sense because it makes our arithmetic so much simpler. Not for me. Stop the world. I want to get off. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I will get off. Who are you? I came here to get away from all that metric business. I know they don't have metric measure no even the Earth. Oh, no, just the opposite is true. This whole space capsule is metric. You see, kilometers and meters for distance, kilograms and grams for mass, and liters for volume. I think I just got cut off at the pass. This time I got no place to go but here. Uh, the reason we use it is because it makes our calculations so much easier. Here, I'll show you. Well, you got me surrounded. You can go ahead and show me, but don't expect me to like it. In the old system, we had to do so many computations. For example, if you wanted to change 5,381 inches into feet, you had to write down a lot of numbers, then multiply them, divide them, subtract them, and carry fractions. I know. It's not easy. But if you want to change 5,381 centimeters into meters, all you do is move the decimal point two places to the left. There. Your answer is 53.81 meters. You haven't done any arithmetic. Yes, I have. I moved the decimal point, dividing by 100. And you mean that's all there is to it? <laughs> yeah. The metric system is so simple that all you have to do to make conversions is to move decimal points or add zeros. It makes figuring very easy. How come nobody ever told me that? Metric, here I come. One meter, two meters, three meters, four meters. That's one step for a worm and a giant step for mankind. And it's a meter. Dink. A dink a dink. A dink a dink. A dink.